a search and rescue demonstration. When the Coast Guard is called out, it is seldom like a day like we have here. Usually, the winds are worse. It's raining, it's cold, visibility is poor, and yet the crews of your United States Coast Guard launch into that bad weather to help whoever is in distress. With a range of some 400 nautical miles and a top speed of 180 miles per hour, the HH-65 Dolphin helicopter is the medium range search and rescue aircraft. Weighing in at about 9,000 pounds fully loaded, they will go to the site where a vessel is in distress. It is then determined by the crew aboard the helicopter what they're going to do to retrieve the survivors that are in the water. Today we're going to put our rescue swimmer, William Ackerson, I, I should say Arison, I think it's Ackerson, excuse me, William Ackerson, into the water and demonstrate how the rescue swimmer and the survivor can be lifted into the helicopter. Right now, the pilots are hovering. If you have the right angle, you might be able to see the rotor blades coning up as it supports the weight of the helicopter. The flight mechanic is now telling the pilots what to do. To move up, down, forward, or back to get in position over the vessel in distress and the survivor. The pilots can't see straight down, so it is up to the flight mechanic to give those directions to the pilots. Now watch them as they come down. The rescue swimmer is hanging out the door. He's gonna jump into the water. You can see the swim fins, and this is one of the ways that they can get into the water. He's in the water now. Now the flight mechanic will say up and back. They'll move out of the way. So the hurricane force winds underneath that rotor, that 34 foot 8 inch rotor disc, will not impede the progress of the rescue swimmer as he goes to the survivor. He is also just waved to the pilots to indicate they're okay. He will then get to the survivor, assess the condition of that survivor. There are several ways to get the survivor back up, but all of them involve that cable that's coming out of the helicopter right now. That is called the rescue hoist. They can either put the survivor in a basket, or they can use, if it's a military aviator, a hook to the harness for both the rescue swimmer and the aviator, and do a mad do, M-A-D-P-U, the military aviator, double pickup. Or they can use a horse collar. Or if the uh, survivor is very, very ill, they can lower a litter. Now watch, he has now put that hoist cable up to his own harness and is being raised up. The capacity of that lift, that hoist, is about 600 pounds, and they can do it at about 200 feet per minute. And he can see you waving. What a shot that is. A few years ago, I had the opportunity to ride in the basket at an air show up underneath that helicopter and into it to be taken back to finish narrating the show. It was the winds underneath that helicopter were unbelievable. And I don't know where you are right now, but up here on the stand, we can feel not only the wind, but we're feeling some of the spray that's being churned up of that rotor disc. You're right, I see the wrong difference. Right up here on the stand. That's rescue demo number one. Let's hear it for your United States Coast Guard. Now they're going to do it another time. They're going to take it over to the left side. Those of you who are over on our left, they're going to swing around there and do exactly the same rescue. We want to thank William Ackerson for going into the water twice today. The Dolphins powered by for about four hours.
Those of you on the left, you can see William Anderson down there as he's hanging his feet out. Let me tell you a little bit about what goes on for a normal day in the United States Coast Guard. Now, these numbers are a few years old, actually. They were compiled from a list of statistics back in 2008. But this is what the Coast Guard does on an average day. They will save 15 lives. They will assist 117 people in distress. They will protect 90 search and rescue cases. They'll protect $2.8 million in property. They'll enforce 129 security zones. They will interdict and rescue 15 of the illegal migrants. They will board four high interest vessels. They will board 192 vessels with law enforcement in them. They will board 122 large vessels for port safety checks. They will seize 71 pounds of marijuana and 662 pounds of cocaine with a street value of $21.1 million. They'll conduct 317 vessel safety checks and teach 63 loading safety courses. They'll conduct 19 commercial fishing vessel safety exams. They'll respond to 11 oil and hazardous chemical spills. They'll process 280 mariner licenses and documents. They'll service 148 to navigation, and they'll monitor the transit of 2,557 commercial ships through U.S. ports. And in addition to all of that, they will investigate 20 vessel casualties involving collisions, allisions, and groundings. From Coast Guard Station Atlantic City, the HH-65 Dolphin that we see here is one of about a hundred that are in use by the United States Coast Guard all over the country. They have recently undergone a significant avionics upgrade. Avionics is a short term that says avionics, aviation electronics. And they are equipped for flight into instrument conditions where the visibility is literally zero. The flight mechanic, again, you can see his head out the door, controlling the hoist, getting ready to bring the rescue swimmer back up. And he, again, is telling the pilots where to go because the pilots do not have direct downward visibility. So significant, so thorough, so complete, and so good is the training of the Coast Guard Dolphin crews that literally a pilot from Atlantic City, a co-pilot from Cape Cod, a flight mechanic from New Orleans, and a rescue swimmer from Galveston, Texas, or I should say Coast Guard Air Station Houston, could walk up to a helicopter they've never flown, one of the dolphins they've never flown, having never met one another, and then performed as a crew like they've known each other and worked together for years. That's the thoroughness and the professionalism of your United States Coast Guard.